Um, my second piece of advice is to follow up on your patients. I think like when you see a patient that has an interesting disease, keep track of it in some way. Make an Excel spreadsheet, make a work list in Epic, make a work list on the PACs, and keep a list of those people and find out what happens to them because that's how you get better. I mean, you guys, like you get better because you sit from, with us and we tell you things and you learn things. Uh, once you get to like a certain point, by the, by the time you're a senior in your residency, you're gonna be as good as the faculty are for some things. And to make yourself better, you need to follow up on your patients to see what happens. If you say someone has lymphoma and then they turn out to have something else, then you need to know that. Otherwise, you're just gonna call the same thing that looks exactly the same, the same thing. The other thing is like the clinical service providers, they get this constantly because they see the patients back in their clinic and they know what happens to the people. And this gives them a huge advantage over you because they know what's going on. You should be following up on your patients. Like you should have a list, you should keep track because that's, that's how you learn and that's how you figure out what happens uh, to people. Otherwise, the neurologists, the neurosurgeons, or other specialties, the orthopedic surgeons, the general surgeons, the breast surgeons, they have a huge advantage on you because they took, they took it out and they saw what the path was. If you're not getting that, you're, you're cheating yourself.